Hello, I'm Matt Jamie, the director of POD. Thanks for tuning in to this online filmed version of the show. This film is Pay What You Feel. You may have already made a donation, but if not, you'll find a donation button somewhere on this webpage or in the description of the video on YouTube. You can donate right now or after you've watched the film, whatever you fancy. Anything you can afford is great and goes to help Alphabetti produce more work. Now you won't hear any laughter or applause on this video. That's not because nobody liked it. That's because we filmed it in an empty theater. But you're welcome to add your own applause at the end of the film at home. Although you might feel a bit silly. And if you're looking for a version of this video with audio description, you need to close this video and scroll down. You'll find the audio described version below this one. Thanks for watching and here is Pod by Arabella Arnott. Rose, it's great. A lot bigger than I thought, too. So peaceful. Listen to those birds. It's just what we were after. Do you think they'll like it? They'll love it. Even Daisy. Oh, come on. An eco pod. It's right up her street. Oh, I can never work out what street Daisy's on. And what about Mum? You won't mind, will you? Sharing with all us girls? I'll cope. It's just going to be a bit weird, isn't it? Oh, I know, love. Come on, it'll be fine. I just want everything to be right. I know you do. It will be. It is. Don't worry. Hmm? What time are they arriving? I just said afternoon-ish. Mum hates being tied to a time. It stresses her out. Oh, that's because she's got to organise Daisy. Stress anyone else. Should we just try and be nice? Yeah, sorry, it's just... It's just one weekend, she'll be fine. I know, she exhausts me. She exhausts everyone, she's exhausting. But it's just one weekend, so let's just try and be nice. And, and Mum will dilute her a bit. Fine. Good. Fine. <clears throat> You're jiffling. No, I'm not. You are? Oh, it's just the, the not knowing. What? When they'll get to you, the uncertainty of it. Making you jiffle? I, yeah, I, I just don't like waiting. The day's wasting. That's very dramatic. Can't you just sit here and enjoy the fresh air and the sunshine? Of course. Of course I can. Without jiffling? Not without jiffling, no. <laughs> Sorry. It's just... I was going to go for a 20 miler today. I knew it was that. I knew it was. You've packed your trainers, haven't you? I might have. It's two days. It's two days without training. You're an addict. Oh, it's just a plan, you know. I was going to do 20 miles then taper for the marathon. Ooh, a marathon? You kept that quiet. 26 miles? 26.2. Don't forget the point two. So can I go before they get here? Because they could be ages yet. Yeah? Then it's done. It's on the way. When I did my marathon, I fitted it in around you, around us. I didn't just disappear at important family gatherings. I won't be long. It's 20 miles. Can I go and get changed? Fine. Oh, thanks, love. It's just I've been so good at following the plan, haven't I? And it's a lucky day. It should not to, wouldn't it? Mm. Just go. <laughs> Dan, they're here! What? Mum and Daisy are here! Alright, Jim. Hiya. Does not hear your accent? No, I know. So I've had a walk? Well, yes. From the road? It's not the walk. It's miles, isn't it, Mum? What? I'm saying I've had a walk along, we all got the bags and everything. Go on, Mum could barely keep up, could you, Mum? Perhaps if you carried a bag or two. Could have thought about that road. Perhaps if you carried a bag or two. About the accessibility of the site, about poor old man. I mean, it's fine for me, I'm fine, of course I am. Man's no spring chicken, are you, ma'am? No, she's not. 
And now she's exhausted before she's even got here in the month. I'm fine. Just the bags. You could have taken the bags, Daisy. I was carrying the cake. Cake? I've made a cake. She's made a cake. For Dad's birthday. Right. Because he said we couldn't have a balloon or anything, so I've done a cake. Wait till you see this cake. Is it a paleo cake? Can you eat cake if you're paleo? I'm not paleo. I thought you were paleo. I'm not paleo. Sure, you were paleo last time I saw you. Which just goes to show how long it's been since you bothered to see it. Well, I spoke to you yesterday and I saw you last week. God, it was. I didn't realise you were so obsessed with everything I eat. I'm not! It's you who was all obsessive. You really need to learn to let things go, Rose. Do you want us to teach you some breathing techniques? What? No! Hi, everyone. What? Looking buff, Bill. Can you take these bloody bags down? Certainly can. Who's Bill? Brother-in-law, B-I-L, it's an acronym, girl. Oh, right. How very big. What? The pod. Not every bigger. It's a four-man pod. It's the biggest one they have. Right, well, I shall be off. Dan's doing a marathon. Oh. No, not now, Iris. 20 miles a day. Ah, last one before you taper. Uh -huh. Mum did a marathon for her 40th. Really? Oh, yes. Four hours on the dot. Not bad considering Daisy was only a year old. Wow, how come I didn't know that? Well, I don't like to go on about it. Oh, just God, me. no, neither does Dan, do you, Dan? When everyone's quite finished going on about the boring running achievements, I've made a cake. Ta-da! Oh. It's run a bit in the heat. Interesting colour choice. Can you eat cake if you're paleo? I'm not paleo. Oh, she's you're paleo? She's not paleo anymore. Apparently. Keep up. It's a cancer cake. Sorry, Daisy, what? Wait till you hear this. It's a cancer cake? Well, an anti-cancer cake. How can a cake be anti-cancer? I put CBD oil in the icing. You put what in the icing? CBD oil. CBD oil? It's cannabis. It's not cannabis, ma'am. She's made a giant hash brownie for your dad's birthday. Daisy! It's not cannabis. It's perfectly legal and above board. Got it from Holland and Barrett, for God's sake. It'll just help us stay calm and relaxed. And obviously there's the cancer prevention benefit too. Obviously. All right, Mr. Cynical. But when you don't get cancer, you'll be thanking me for introducing you to the miracle of CBD oil. And I presume there's some homeopathic egg and sugar in there too, is there? You can mock all you like, Dan. But I know several people who've completely cured their cancers with controlled diet and homeopathy. All right, good for them. I look forward to reading their peer-reviewed studies. Oh, Dan, you are such a little sheep. And she will be used as a singular term. You think you're so much cleverer than me, don't you, Dan? I think, Daisy. I know. Well, this is going well. Dan, why don't you head off on that run before it gets dark? It'll be dark for hours. Just go. Yes, off your trot, Dan. Don't get lost. Thank God he's gone. He always creates such an atmosphere. I think he's all right off the kilter. Oh yeah, that's almost certainly it. I could work on that for him if he wasn't so closed-minded. He'd love that. Don't know how you put up with him, I'm using Is there any chance of a drink around here? Tea? I'll put the kettle on, there's a kettle. I really think <laughs> I'm going to need something a bit stronger than that, love. There's some fizz in the cool box. Crack it open before we all go mental. <laughs> Lie down, ma'am. What? Why would I need to lie down? Well, because it's been a long day. I'll go to bed when it's bedtime. No, I meant like a nap, you know. <laughs> I'm fine, Daisy. I don't need a nap or a lie down. You'll have one if you want. Leave her alone, Daisy. She doesn't want a nap. Fine. You don't know how she gets. How I get? You haven't had a nap, ma'am? She gets all irritable and grouchy. And grunty. I beg your pardon, I most definitely do not get grunty, whatever that means. Monosyllabic then. 
unresponsive. You make it sound like a medical condition. I can be chatting away, trying to be good company, and she'll maybe scold the paint. A huff. Oh, huffing and grunting. I'm like the three little pigs and the big red wolf all at once. Say what I mean, Rose. She's making no sense. She needs a nap. I do not need a nap. It's you, Daisy, and your incessant banal chatter. Sometimes I just need to get away from it. Sometimes I need to lock myself away in my room. I'm not napping or having a lie down. I'm bloody hiding from you. Thought you'd be glad of the company. There's lots of loneliness amongst the elderly and all. Chance to be a fine thing. You've always preferred Rose. Where did that come from? She has. Haven't you, ma'am? Rose has always been your favourite. I don't have favourites. It's completely obvious. You're being an idiot, Daisy. Maybe you should go and have a lie down. What are you talking bitch about? I say? don't have favourites. Well, there could be something in the phrase absence makes the heart grow fonder. Oh, so you want us to move out? Is that what you want? I sometimes wonder why it's not what you want. Well, I can't afford it, can I? None of us millennials can. I'm too busy paying for hot yoga and avocados to buy houses. That's what they say, isn't it? To be fair, Daisy, you've never really had a real job, have you? So no actual money to spend on avocados? Uh, I have got a job, actually, Miss High, you fucking mighty careery woman. Have you? Has she? Yes! Oh, wait till you hear this. I'm an influencer. Influenza. <sighs> Don't pretend like you don't know what I'm talking about. Oh no, you've explained it to me enough times. I've explained it to her enough times. She's got a YouTube channel and an Instagram account with almost a thousand followers. Ooh, a thousand. Mm -hmm. Nearly. And actually that's quite good for a little startup. She's got a web page. Right. And a business Facebook page she showed me. Wow. So it's just a matter of time now. Well, it is. Until the revenue comes rolling in, apparently. I'm not just virtual, you know. I've had business cards done too. I'll get you one. <clears throat> yeah. Aura Regeneration Soul Energizer. I've done online courses. I've got certificates. Aura Regeneration Soul Energizer. You do realise this is literally ours, don't you? Oh, I see. You're just like Dan now, are you? So cynical, you can't even bring yourself to be a little bit impressed with my new enterprise. I really thought you were more spiritual than that, Rose. No, I mean it's Aura Regeneration Soul Energizer. A-R-S-E. It's an acronym. Look, which one we want? Ours, look. Oh. Oh no. You really didn't notice? Well, obviously not, Rose. I did. I've had loads of these printed. I tried to tell you. I've had 400 printed. You never listen. I've been telling people what I do. Nobody said anything. I mean, is it your job title? Or a regeneration soul energizer? Because it does sound a little bit made up. Is it a thing? Of course it's a thing. People love it. She's got lots of clients. Shut up, ma'am. People actually pay you. Yes, Rose. Why is that so difficult to believe? Some people pay her. One woman did a skill swap, didn't she, Daisy? A skill swap woman? Yes, well, I won't be doing that again. Skill swap? Yes. She said she'd make us some organic forest foraged triple filled and slow gin in return for a full aura regeneration. She said it was hangover free, guilt free alcohol. It wasn't though, was it? No. You were sick everywhere, weren't you? Yes. It's false advertising, that's what it was. Unbelievable the claims that some people make. Isn't it? She was terribly ill. Sick everywhere. Yes, all right, ma'am. Lesson learned, okay? How much do people pay you? It's not about the money, Rose. Well, no, but how much? Well, the aura work is £400. £400? Yeah, and the soul stuff's a bit more. It's very deep work. More than £400? Yeah, but I can do them both together for £900, so it works out a bit cheaper for anybody who maybe doesn't have as much money. £900? £900? It's less than a grand. Yeah, I'm aware of that. For an actual life change and treatment. Bargain then. Hey, Rose. It really does change lives, you know. 
I have testimonials, you should see me Insta. And I do inspirational talks, Facebook Live and YouTube. They're free. So your ass is all over the internet. Why can't you just be proud of me? Why do you always have to take the piss? Why can't you take it seriously? Do you not worry that you might be exploiting vulnerable people? No! I'm providing a service. I'm actually taking the heat off your precious NHS that you're always banging on about. I do not bang on about the NHS. Oh, no, you do bang on a bit. I do not! You went on a march? Yes, I did go on a march, but that was to support all the junior doctors, all the nurses, everyone who helped make Dad's final days a little bit more bearable. I felt very passionately that they were being undervalued and I wanted to show some solidarity. And actually, Daisy, I thought you might have joined me. I'm not marching for Big Pharma. Big Pharma, the NHS, really? She's all about Big Pharma nowadays. Actually, I've been doing some research into cancer treatment recently. And I just think, if I knew then what I know now, I could have saved Dad. Oh my God, Daisy. No, you couldn't, okay? You absolutely couldn't. You've been ridiculous now and you've actually really, really pissed me off. Chemo is poison. Shut up, Daisy. Don't say anything else. Don't speak. The problem with you, Rose, is that you just blindly follow the mainstream. You don't do any of your own research. You poo-poo my homeopathy, but you won't even try it. You just neck it, you paracetamol, and boom, the pain's gone. Yeah, well, that's sort of the fucking point of painkillers, isn't it? They kill pain. Yes. But you're just masking it, you're not treating the root cause. I don't think your magic sugar pills are going to treat the root cause of my period pain, are they? The root cause of my period pain is my period. The crisis still having them. What? Period? Thought you'd be menopausal by now. I'm 45. Exactly. I'm not menopausal. I was 53. It's probably why you're being so reactionary and emotional. I'm not menopausal. All of work can really help with that. For goodness sake, Daisy, I am not menopausal. If I'm reactionary, it's because you're talking absolute shit. And if I'm emotional, it's because it's Dad's birthday, okay? And he didn't make it. And we're all being a little bit weird, aren't we? And nobody's really talking about it properly. And I don't think your aura soul-searching shit is going to help with that. So shut up! Shut up! I think I might go for that lie down, after all. No, I'm fine by the window. I don't need to clean. See what you've done now, Rose? You've upset Mum. I've upset her. Yes. Right. I don't know why you have to be like this. Like what? It's like every time. Every time we'll get together. Oh, and it's me, is it? Yes. It's not me. I live with Mum. She's fine when it's just us. She just literally said she had to hide from you. Yes, well, she didn't mean that. Which I'm pretty certain to know. Oh, Rose, she's in denial. About what? About how old she's getting. You must have noticed how frail and tired she is recently. <sighs> Mum? Mum is? Yes. It's scary, isn't it? How old we're all getting. But especially Mum. And now that Dad's gone, it's not like she's got much to live for. You hear about that, don't you? Couples dying within months of each other. Heartbreak. Heartbreaking? Mum isn't going to die. And she's got loads to live for. Why are you being like this? I'm not being like anything. I'm just saying. That's why I'm glad that we're doing this. Even though you and Dan seem intent on spoiling it all. This could be our last chance as a family. To say everything that needs to be said. Because life's short. Mum isn't going to die. Not for ages. Yes, but what if she does? Don't you think it'd be better? We'll just say everything there is to say. Just get everything out there. Don't you wish that you had more time with Dad? Of course I do. Stupid thing to say. We all wish we had more time with him. Yeah, but aren't there so many things that you wish you'd said? Not really, no. 
Dad and I were very fortunate. We had a very close relationship. We told each other everything. I told him I loved him all the time. And he told me and you. There was nothing left unsaid. I didn't tell him everything. I haven't told anyone everything. And I'm not being funny, but I'm pretty sure there's things that I haven't been told. Like what? Well, I don't know, do I? Because I haven't been told. You'd be surprised, though. You can make a pretty good guess. I think I'm onto the little secrets. What is this? Family conspiracy theories? Oh, yeah, go on, mockers. Everybody does. It's only because you know I'm close to the truth. What truth? I think you know. Ooh, spooky. The truth is out there. Ooh. Oh, yeah. Put my little weirdo on now. I wonder where I get it from. Me too, Daisy, I really do. But come on, let's... Let's just stop this and try and have a nice day. A nice day? Okay, then. Not nice. Uh, gentle, is that better? Let's just try and have a, a nice, gentle day reminiscing about Dad and, and tomorrow we'll celebrate his birthday. He wanted us to be happy for him. He wanted us to be together. Let's just try and honour his wishes and not be weird. Fine. Good. Are you two friends again? Oh God, did you hear all that? Well, I might be old, frail and tired, but I'm not deaf. And I found some gin. Can we light the fire? I'm freezing. Dan wanted to do it. Oh, hey, Ward. Oh, big man's job, that, isn't it? Everyone knows women can't light fires. Don't let the little women light the fire. Dan isn't like that at all. He just likes making fires. Shouldn't he be back by now? Shouldn't be too much longer. Well, I'm going to make a start. Can we just wait a bit? No, Rose, it's been ages and it's getting nippy. I thought it was going to get me. I've done two extra miles just trying to get away from it. 22 miles I've done. Well, didn't you wonder where I was? 20 miles, 22 miles, there's not much difference. I've been ages. And now you're back. Oh, you're doing the fire without me. Well, you weren't here. The bull. Well, I had to make a start without you. Well, I wanted to do that. Yes, but you weren't here. I was chased by a bull! Yes! Yes, we've all heard your big dramatic bull story and your heroic escape and your amazing two whole extra miles. Well done! Now, we're making the fire, on the man. Well, I am. Poor man was bloody freezing. You should have let me do it. I would have had it done in no time. Well, it's done now. It should have been some kind of warning. We couldn't just allow dangerous creatures to just roam around like that. There should have been a sign which you reported. But he's back now and no harm done. Just chill, Bill. I'll get you a drink. I'll get you a blanket. You'll be in shock. Oh, I'm fine. I'm just a bit cold now. The fire's going to be good. We'll soon have you warmed up. Thanks. Oh, thank you. 
You've done a good job on this fire, Iris. Why don't we do a toast to your dad, to Jeff? To, to Jeff. Jeff. He loved this. The fire, the stars, us all being together. Oh, I forgot. <laughs> I'll get him, shall I? He should be here. I wish he could, Mum. What can? I brought him along. Did you get him out of the car? Yes, he's in my rucksack under my bathroom bag. Go and get him to see. What are you two on about? Dad's ashes? You brought them along? No. Yeah. Couldn't have him missing his own birthday, could we? When? I mean, what? Dad wanted to be buried in the green burial site. He chose a tree. I know those, but it was really expensive. Dad wouldn't have wanted us to spend the money like that. He would want us to have a nice holiday. And that's what we're doing. You had him cremated. Well, it was just neater and easier in the end, love. You had him cremated and you didn't tell me. Well, you know now. Go and get him, Daisy. Oh, this is outrageous. I can't believe you had him cremated and you didn't tell me. I mean, is that even allowed? Don't you need everyone's permission? Oh, don't be silly. Can you believe this, Dan? Well, it is a bit of a shock. A bit of a shock. They've had my dad cremated with no kind of ceremony without telling me. Well, I did a ceremony. Daisy did a ceremony. Daisy did a ceremony. Wait till you hear this. So you did some private hippy-dippy ceremony and you burnt our dad? Uh, it was not hippy-dippy. I took it very seriously, actually, to cleanse the space. You what? I cleansed the space around dad with sage. She set the smoke alarm off. Yes, well, that was unfortunate. She wafted burning sage over your dad and set the smoke alarm off. <laughs> did you chant too? I bet you chanted. The hard way I did. Yes, I did chant, Dan, actually. I created a soundscape to help Dad's spirit on its way. It was very moving. I had to flap my cardigan at it. <laughs> you didn't think to tell me. Well, I knew you and Dan wouldn't understand. You wouldn't have liked it. It was something I had to do for me. What about me? He was my dad too. Well, it's done now. And like you said, you didn't have anything that you needed to say. You had a great relationship, you said. You told him everything you said. Mum wanted him with her on his birthday, didn't you, Mum? So we thought that cremating him would be the best thing to do. And here he is. Oh, damn it. Oh, my daddy. All right, Rose, it's not the real way, children. There you are, Jeff. You've missed all the fun. Well, this is very irreverent and odd. I don't know what I'm supposed to do. I can't deal with this. With all this right now. Oh, come here, Rose. It'll be all right. I think your dad would quite like this in you here, love, eh? <laughs> he had a funny sense of humour, didn't he? He was always cracking the, the dark, dark jokes at those inappropriate times. I, honestly, I think he would have had a bit of a chuckle if he was here now, love. Yeah. But can we still do the nice tree? Yeah, we can still get a tree. I can bless it and everything. That won't be necessary, Daisy. All right, it's just an offer. I can't get my head around this. I thought we'd decided we'd have this weekend for his birthday and then we'd have the funeral. It's what I prepared for. I thought we'd agreed. He's dead, love. It doesn't matter now. What matters is that we loved him very much. And he loved us. We'll never forget him, whether we've got a, a tree or an urn of ashes. He was really very ready to die, you know. 
he's at peace now. I know it's a cliche, but it's true. Isn't that right, Jeff? He says yes. He's at peace and he wants his lovely daughters to be at peace too. Well, not in a dead way. He wants you both to be kind to one another. And your dear old mum. And Dan, he says put the kettle on. All oh, that gin's made Iris thirsty. <laughs> still be in bed after your run yesterday. Oh, I've always been an early bird. Go still asleep? Oh, yeah. The underfloor heating was a bit much for her. She was too hot all night. I think she's only got to sleep. Hold on. Menopause. You didn't, did you? Oh god, I bet you love that. Don't know why she's in denial about it. It's just a fact of life, isn't it? Well, you might feel differently when you're a bit closer to it. You're such a modern man, aren't you, Dan? Casually chatting menopause. But you say you're a feminist as well? Of course. Right. So how are you feeling today with... Dad's birthday? Yeah. Dunno. Bit weird. <laughs> We're all being a bit weird about it, aren't we? You're always weird, it's hard to tell. <laughs> oh, God, Dan, you know what I mean. Oh, I'm just joking. I know, me too. Sorry for being a bit mean yesterday. It's just, you know, everything. I know I'm difficult. Don't know why I'm like that, to be honest, for all my soul searching. Ironically. It is a bit dizzy. I'm sorry too. I, I should have been kinder, you know, with your dad and everything. I, it's a lot. Yes. It is. A lot. I'm so eloquent. A lot. It's early. I'll let you off. Dan? Yes, Daisy? Does Rose ever talk about me? How do you mean? You're a little sister. She talks about you all the time. No, but has she ever said anything about me? She says lots of things. Do you think she likes us? Daisy, she loves you. She wouldn't put up with all your shit if she didn't. Do you think she's proud of me? Proud? Yeah. I just want her to be proud. She's always so distant and aloof. Rose? Rose is? I don't see that at all. She's always taking the piss. And I know what she's doing. What's she doing? She's using humour to deflect. Using humour to deflect? Yes. From how she really feels. So, I never know. Using humour to deflect. Come on, Dan. This isn't one of my hippie spiritual ideas. Yeah, I know. That's why I'm surprised. Mom's doing it too. So she doesn't have to face up to our feelings. It's just her way of coping. I know, but we've all got so used to it. Joking around. Dad was the worst. We used to say terrible things to him, like, Shut up, Dad. You don't get a say. You'll be dead soon. Remember when he pretended to be dead? And when I reached over, he grabbed my wrist like out of a film. <laughs> Rose just laughed. Dad did too. They planned it. Why would they do that? It was so funny, your face. <laughs> it was cruel. It really but upset me. You laughed about it in the end. I was using humour to deflect. I get it. Everyone thinks I'm a joke. Oh, well, that's not true. Really? Well, you don't make it easy. I know you think I'm ridiculous. I think you mainly mean well. I mainly mean well. That would make a great epitaph, wouldn't it? Here lies Daisy, she mainly meant well. Oh, come on. You don't live us all with your healthy alternative remedies and your paleo diets. I'm not paleo. Why does everyone think I'm paleo? Let's have a good day today, Daisy. For your dad's sake. And for Rose. She's still upset about that cremation. Yeah. That sort of just happened. 
It was the shock, I think. I just went along with everything. God knows how a cremation sort of just happened. We can still have a tree. Yeah. Or a rose bush for his rose. Do you think he should like that? Maybe. I'll apologise. I should have said. I am sorry. It'll be okay. Yeah, well, it'll have to be. It's done now. I meant well. I'm sure you did, Daisy. I'm sure you did. Shut up, Dan. I hope you two aren't fighting. Not today. Actually, we've been having a rather nice little chat, haven't we, Daisy? Could say that. It was almost civil. I really can't cope with all the sniping. Really? We're fine. We really are. So I can leave you together safely while I go and have a quick shower? Yes, ma'am. Sometimes I call her ma'am just to see how she'll react. What? Why would she react? Because she is me ma'am. <laughs> no, she isn't. Yes, she is. And I know you know. So you can stop with the pretense. Ma'am's not me ma'am and Rose is. It's obvious. This is the craziest thing I've ever heard you say and that is saying something. Uh, it's not that uncommon. There's loads of people who think the man's the man, but actually the sister's the man and the man's not the man at all. Oh, well now you've explained it so clearly. I've known for a while. I've just been waiting for someone to tell us. I thought Dad might on his deathbed, but he didn't. But well, that's because it's not true. It's something you've just made up. It's one of your little fantasies. Oh, Dan, I know it's true. It's so obvious. The ridiculous age gap, the way that she is with us. You all think you've done such a good job trying to protect us from it. Protect you? What? I know you think I can't handle the truth. That I'm just a silly baby. Daisy, you are so wide of the mob, it's not even funny. I just think it's time we've got it all out in the open. Got what out in the open? Daisy's gone mad. God? <laughs> I haven't gone mad, I'm just saying. Say what? Nothing. Doesn't matter. If you've got something to say, then just say it. No. It's nothing, it doesn't matter, I'm just... Dan's right, I'm just being mad. It's just the stress of the day. We'll just talk about the later. Right. Well, Rose has gone to a lot of effort here, so let's not spoil it with shenanigans. Yes, let's not spoil it with shenanigans, Daisy. And you can be nice too, Dan. Sorry. Where is Rose? Shower block. Oh, right, I'll go and meet her. Don't say anything to Rose about her being your mum. It has to come out sooner or later. Uh, no, it doesn't, because it's not true. Look, you're going to upset her more than you realise with all this. Well, fine, okay, we'll keep on pretending. But you'll know that I'm... You don't know anything. We'll see. Seriously, Daisy. Oh my God, I get it. She hasn't told you either. I really am her dark little secret. Oh, wow, you're not a dark little secret. She's not your mum. Just leave this. Leave what? Nothing. These two are as thick as thieves this morning. Right, well, if it's another cremation type surprise, then I really can't cope. Everything's fine. Good. So we can all just get on with the day? There's no point rolling muscles that are wound tight with all the emotion you're failing to express. I ran 22 miles off road yesterday, Daisy. If my muscles are tense, it's because of that and not because of some repressed emotions. I know what you think, but if you go deeper, you can start to ask yourself the real question. Like what exactly? Like what is it you're running away from? It was a bull, a bloody bull. I don't mean literally. She doesn't mean literally. Of course she doesn't mean literally. And that's what I want to explore in this circle. Swear. Whatever. Just come and join us. I promise I won't make you sing. It'll be good for us. Good. 
Good. Now, let's all take a few deep breaths together to unify us and bring us closer. Acknowledging the space. In, two, three, four, and out. Two, three, four. In, two, three, four, and out. Two, three, four. Really trying to breathe down into our stomach shafts. I'll just use my lungs. Sorry, that down. Two, three, four, and out. Two, three, four. It's actually quite relaxing, isn't it? Shut up, Mammy, you're spoiling it. Two, three, four. Well, I don't know why we can't just go for a nice little walk. Two, three, four. I don't know why we've got to do this ridiculous circle ceremony. Two, Three, four. We have to do something to acknowledge it, Dan. Two, three, four. Especially as they just went ahead and had my dad cremated without so much as a buy your leave. Two, three, four. Oh, I'm getting dizzy. I think I might be hyperventilating. It's the grief, ma'am. Let it out. Acknowledge it and let it out. Oh, I think I'm just going to have to breathe normally for a bit, love. Everything's spinning. Fine. Okay, let's join hands. No, oh, please, no. Give us your hand, Dan. Ma'am. <clears throat> well, this is nice. Shh, Rose. Let's just take a moment to listen. Sorry, sorry, what are we listening for? Well, what can you hear? Birds? Good. Wind in the trees? Good, Dan, that's lovely. Let's just take a moment to meditate on those sounds for a bit. Pretty sure I'm here near 19. Well, Dan, that's okay. That's everyday life going on. All the people on their own personal journeys. Let's acknowledge it and send our love and thoughts to those who are travelling. I'm sorry, love, but all I can hear is me bloody tummy rumbling. Is it time for the hash cake yet? No, ma'am. Shame. And it's not a hash cake. You're determined to spoil this, aren't you? To make it all a joke. Dad's dead, you know. Have some respect. I'm sorry, I'm just, just I don't know what you're trying to achieve. Well, that's because you're not doing it properly. Right, where was I? Sending love and thoughts to the traffic. Yes, so what I thought we'd do is <clears throat> share some thoughts with Dad. Say them out loud. Anything at all? Things that you wish you told him. Let's just... Really open up, get everything out there, okay? Rose, why don't you start? I told you. Dad and I were very happy with how everything was. There's nothing we need to say. I'm sure that can't be true. It is. We all have our little secrets, don't we? No. Uh, and even if I did, who says I'd want to share them now? Dad. Dad isn't here. Metaphorically, though. I don't think that's the correct use of the word. Shut up, Dan. Rose? No, really. The call of this is making me feel a little bit uncomfortable. I don't think it's me. Honestly, Rose, just get it out there. I right. feel so much better. I haven't got anything to get out there. I'm sure that can't be true. It is. It, it really is. Just leave it, Daisy. Can you not see you upsetting her? I'm not upset. I'm not upset. I just don't like circle time. I don't like being made to speak. I don't know why we can't just hang out together and let things happen naturally. What things? I don't know. I don't mean things. I just mean 
Conversation. I don't know why we have to ritualise normal conversation. Because no one ever says anything in normal conversation, Rose. Yes, they do. That's how conversation works. I say something, you say something. I don't like being put on the spot like this. It's too weird. It's too much pressure. I have to say, it sounds like you're being very defensive. It sounds very much like you've got something to hide. Oh, Daisy, leave her alone. She doesn't want to play your game. Oh my God, ma'am. That is so triggering. Triggering? Talk about flashbacks. Are you okay? Oh, she's fine. She's just creating drama, attention seeking as usual. Daisy, it's just all I heard when I was little. Leave her alone. She doesn't want to play with you. Is that all? Is that all? I spent my entire childhood trying to get you to notice me. To play with us. To even acknowledge me existence. Well, I was 16 when you came along. Of course I didn't want to play with you. You're being ridiculous. You were my world. I was not your world. You were? I admired you. I wanted to be just like you. I raided your wardrobe, your makeup. I remember that, my pearls shimmer rimmel everywhere. You just ignored us, shooed us away at every opportunity. I was a teenager. What teenager wants to hang out with a small child? And all of that was especially cruel. Now I know what I know. Daisy, please stop talking. What are you on about? What is it that you think you know? How about that pig? Maybe we all need some nice CBD oil icing just to calm things down a little bit. No, no, hold on. I want to know what she's on about. Oh, I think you know. I'm warning you, Daisy. What is this? Do you know too? I know what Daisy thinks she knows, and I know it's a really good idea if she keeps what she thinks she knows to herself. Oh, well done, Dan. Now that you've said that you know what she thinks she knows, we're all going to have to know. Do you know too? I don't know anything. Well, of course you do. It's all been a massive cover-up right from the start. I promise I have no idea. You're really going to regret this, Daisy. Oh, for fuck's sake, Dan, what? What is it? I know, Rose. You can stop it now, all of you. I know that you're me man. God. What? I know that you're me man. What? what? I've said it now. It's out there. Whoosh. 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 You think I'm your mum? I'm your mum? You think I'm your mum? How, how could Rose be your mum? I'm your mum! Mum, it's okay. I know you're not my mum. But I'm your mum! You're me mum. Of course you're me mum. Rose is just me birth mother. You know what's being mum. I'm your bloody mother. I'm your bloody birth mother. And your mother. It's me. Mum. I know now. There's no point in denying it all. I'm not your birth mother. I'm your sister. Really, Daisy? You're being ridiculous. You must have seen your, your birth certificate. You must have a copy of it. Does it say that I'm your mum? Well, no. Well then. Well, but she could have just lied. Excuse me. She? That would be illegal. She would never do that. <laughs> this is crazy. This is crazy. I don't know why anyone's surprised. I'm not crazy and I'm still not convinced. Oh my god, Daisy, what part of I'm not your mum are you not getting here? Well, can we just leave this now? The whole thing's absolutely ridiculous. I don't want to leave it. I want answers. You've had your answers. You really have. No. Nah, I'm not buying this. Nah, I've always been different. I've been treated differently by you, by mum, by dad, by everyone. You honestly, honestly haven't been. What would you know? You're not me. I've always felt like this. It's just because you're the youngest, that's all. Don't patronise me. I'm not. I don't mean to. It's not your fault. We babied you. Spoil them all, eh? That's not helpful. I don't know why you're pandering to her. Honestly, she's just making drama where there isn't any, as usual. Well, it's because she's my sister and she's upset and it's Dad's birthday, so I think we should all try and be nice. Right, well, then let's just put her out of her misery. Put her out of her misery? Yeah, tell her. Tell us what? Tell her what? We won. I know.
Sorry, I wasn't sure what side of the door you wanted me on. Come and sit down. Right. Right. Well, here's something that'll surprise you. Daisy isn't entirely misguided. I think that's exactly what she is. I didn't want your dad to hear because he made me promise not to tell you both. Said it wasn't important because he loved you both. He loved you both so much. But I think it's important for Daisy to know because she's right, in a way. She's barking up the wrong tree, but she's not entirely barking. And she's got the right to bark, if you see what I mean. Oh yes, you've made that perfectly clear. I can see where she gets a gift of explanation from. Gift of explanation? Oh my God, you two, will you shut up? I'll just say this quickly and clearly so there can be no confusion. Yes, that's what I'll do. 
Oh gosh, this is harder than I thought. Um, the tree. The tree you should be barking up. It's well, it, it's what? What is it? What tree? What tree should I be barking up? Yeah, what tree? There is no tree. Just say it, Iris. Your dad's not your dad, Daisy. Well, he is your dad, but he's not your dad, if you see what I mean. Dad's not my dad. Dad's not your dad. Is dad my dad? Dad's your dad. Rose. But dad's not my dad. No, sorry. Wow. God. Okay. Sorry. No. No, it's fine. Really? Yeah. And yours, right? You were the way. Dan, please. Learn when to say things out loud. This is like... Like all the fragments falling into place. I can practically see them. I can feel myself becoming whole. This is going to do wonders for my soul work. This is a gift. It's all about accepting the gift and offering it back to the universe. <laughs> right. Well, I'm glad you're taking such a positive approach, but I think we need more information. It's all about acceptance, Rose. Yeah, hang on. If Jeff isn't Daisy's dad, then who is? Adrian. Adrian? Adrian. I met him on holiday in Greece. He was Greek. Adrian? Is that a Greek name? I don't know. But it was his name and he was Greek. So, a uh, holiday romance. A rite of passage, I suppose. Rite of passage? There was a rite of passage in the late 30s. Since when did you get to choose the cut-off point for rites of passage, Daisy? Yes, Daisy. It's all about acceptance, remember? Fine. It's fine. I'm fine. I'm just... Embracing the fragments as they fall into my upturned, outstretched hands. It was a brief affair. Over almost as soon as it started. To play away of saying what now you sound. Damn! That's disgusting! I don't want to think about that. So you don't have one night stand when that old. I wasn't old, I was 38. That's not old. And it wasn't one night. It was three nights at the very least. This is all very shitty by the time. Who? Doesn't matter. Oh yes, I'm aware. I'm a massive cliché. I just got swept along with it all. But Dad... Oh yes, Rose, it was not my finest hour. Or three nights or whatever. It was an approaching 40 kind of thing. Midlife crisis. If you like, yes. That's no excuse. I wouldn't dream of trying to excuse it. What was he like? He drove a minibus. <laughs> a bus driver. Daisy's dad is a bus driver. Classic. <laughs> and he ran the beach yoga. Very popular class with the ladies. A yogi? I knew it. I knew it must come from somewhere. His spirituality. He's a bus driver called the Adrian. He was a yogi named after the Adriatic Sea. Uh, it's an Aegean for Greece, or Med. Why do you have to be so pedantic? I'm just stating a geographical fact. Well, maybe just don't, Dan. Maybe we let Daisy have this instead of being a twat. Wow. Okay. Right. Well, I think we all need a little bit of time to get our heads around this. I know I do. I'm going to go for a walk. Come on, Dan. I'm all right, yeah. We're walking. We're walking. I'm sorry I didn't tell you sooner. It's okay. It's not like there'll ever be a right time, is there? That's a nice way to let me off the hook. Yeah, well, I am nice most of the time. 
And I did a pilgrimage. A pilgrimage you didn't. Online. You can do a virtual pilgrimage, can you? Of course. It was really good, actually. I got a certificate. Oh, you have so many. It's the one above the aloe vera plant in my room. Anyway, this pilgrimage was sort of my journey to self-discovery, see? Not really, but I'll try. It's all about how you can't control the things that happen to you, you know, but you can control the way that you react to them. It was really life-changing, actually. You've probably noticed how much more zen I've been. Probably, if I knew what Zen was. So you see, I could have gone mad and made a huge deal out of all this dad stuff. But instead, I've just chosen to go with it. Go with the flow. Embrace and accept. I really admire the way you've handled it. I'm proud of you, you know. Thanks, Mum. I'm still a work in progress, but I'm getting there. I'll never stop being a work in progress, love. Your dad was proud of you too, you know. He admired your spirit, loved the way you looked at the world. He thought I was a bit of a joke. He really didn't. He found you fascinating. What about Adrian? Do you think he'd be proud of us? Who knows, love. I closed the door on all that years ago. I'm going to choose to believe that you would be then. Good choice. I might try and find him one day. Maybe. He was a bit of a Lothario, so you've probably got half brothers and sisters all over the world. That can be a project for another time then. <laughs> Sibling hunt. I could write a book. Probably relatively easy with the internet. Yeah. Dad did pretty well to stay with you. Even after he knew. Oh, yes. That. What? He didn't know. What? He didn't know. I never told him. Mum! He didn't know? No, okay. But well, you said... You said? Yes, well, I wasn't ready to tell everything to everyone all at once. Better everyone thinks your dad was an amazingly generous, forgiving soul. Better that than focus on your lies and deceit. Megan, and bring up your little cuckoo, pretending everything was fine. Everything was fine, it really was. Then what were you doing with Adrian? I told you, right of passage. Oh, you're not coming out with this very well. What happened to accepting the gift? You keep taking it off us and changing it? I happen to think I'm being very calm under the circumstances. God, I can't believe this. Oh, Daisy, can we just leave it now? And eventually your dad's a saint. Happy birthday, Jeff. Are you going to tell Rose and Dan the truth? Are you? Well, it's not really up to me, is it? Oh, Daisy. I don't care what you do. I just want peace. A peaceful goodbye to the man I loved. The man you lied to for nearly 30 years. Daisy, it doesn't matter now. We had a good life. He had two beautiful daughters who he loved with all his heart. Who was I to upset all that? Make everything shitty. Better he died happy. I can't change it now. It was a one-off with Adrian. Three off. Oh. You said three. All right. Three off. It doesn't make any difference. I just got carried away by it all. Three times. Yes. Three times. Three sodden times. Probably more than three, if I'm absolutely honest. I was on... A mission, a, a pilgrimage, if you want to use your language. I went on holiday on my own to find myself and see what else was out there. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> wow, you actually sought it out? A sordid little affair with a random bus driving Lothario? No, Daisy. I was looking for myself. Surely you of all people should understand that. I've got lost. In everything. Fifteen years of people saying, oh, who's that? It's just Jeff's wife. Oh, who's that? Oh, that's Rose's mum. All that. People used to ask me what I did. And I would say, me? <laughs> I'm just a mum. Just 
and mum. Like it was a nothing thing. I didn't feel like me. I didn't feel valued. I didn't feel like I'd achieved anything. Adrian made me feel a bit alive, I suppose. A bit more iris. You used another man to validate yourself. Pathetic. It makes no sense. And then you got another baby out of it. So that worked out well for you, didn't it? Yes. I know how stupid I sound. I really do. But I got you out of it. And I wouldn't be without you for the whole world, regardless of what you think of me. Please, Daisy. Let's let this go. Let's not spoil today. I don't think it's me that's spoiling this to you. Uh, what about the Zen thing? What, what about choosing how we react? What, what about going with the flow? Fuck the flow. Daisy! No, seriously, fuck it. I've decided. I've decided only dead fish swim with the current. That's what I've decided. Fuck the flow. And actually, fuck you too. We're back. Oh, good. I'm not hallucinating after this cake, then. You're eating the cake? I am. I'm eating the cake. Dad's birthday cake. Well, I hardly think he's going to notice, do you? Well, no, but... I don't know. I suppose I just wanted it to be part of the goodbye ceremony, the ritual, whatever. But actually, I've come to a realisation. You sound just like Daisy. Yeah. Well, I just wanted everything to be right. And I've been trying to make it right. And I think I've been trying too hard. Where's Dan? He's coming. We've had a good talk. We haven't talked. Not properly. Not for ages. We've both been so busy. And Dad. So that took over. We saw a hare on our walk. All gangly, its black tipped ears. It looked straight at us. And I thought about Dad and how he would have loved that and how he'd have known all the hare facts. And then I imagined that the hare was dad. His spirit watching over me. Of all this. And then he sort of lolloped off. <laughs> and I thought, okay, that's okay. He's free now. He's happy. And I thought about never being a mum, of, of never knowing that. And I watched the hair as it disappeared. And then I just started crying for no reason. <laughs> but you know what? I think we can get through this, all of this, together as a family. I think it doesn't matter too much about closure or rich or anything like that as long as we've got each other. Am I making any sense at all here? I don't think I'm making any sense, am I? Your car's gone. Mum's car's gone? Yeah, your car's gone. Was Daisy taking it? Because if she hasn't, it's been nicked. Why would Daisy have taken the car? Mum? I might have upset her a bit. What do you mean upset her? Just that, really. Well, she's probably just gone to get some headspace or something, hasn't she? Mum? Probably. Or in the car. Yes, Dan. In the car. And all this countryside around. Yeah. I mean, Dan, don't worry too much about 
Daisy, I'm sure she'll be back soon, won't she? Mum. Oh, I expect so. Oh, you're uh, eating the cake. I am. I thought we were. We're not now. Is that okay? It's okay. Okay. Oh, for God's sake, eat some cake. Is that your car? Is that your car? Is it your car? All cars sound the same, don't they? No. Is that Daisy? Can you hear us? I did. We heard you. Well, why didn't you come and help? Oh, sorry, was it a message? Most called. Beep, beep, beep. Come and help. Done. You want to carry them bags, Penny? So I've got my hands. We ate the cake. You ate the cake. We ate the cake. We didn't know you were coming back. So you ate the cake? It's my fault. I started it. You certainly did, ma'am. But it's okay. Is it? It really is. Really? I'm back to my calm, zen self now. Great. I was angry, but I'm fine now, honest. I got food. It's revenge food. Sorry. Revenge food? I got it while I was still angry, as revenge. Revenge food? Yes, Dan. Revenge food. It's all Greek, see. I've got um, tiramisu lata, olives, feta, some marinated bean salad thing, stuffed vine leaves, um, baklava, all sorts. All Greek. I've got some ouzo too. It's disgusting though. I tried it. I got it all on your credit card, ma'am. <laughs> From Waitrose. That was part of the revenge, see? I see. I'm sorry now, though. I don't want revenge now. I'm regretting it all a bit now. It's okay, Daisy. It's been a massive day for all of us, especially you. I like good food. After this, I'm going to take myself off and do some serious aura regeneration. I think I'll be better at healing now that I've got all the pieces. Well, that's good, isn't it? Positive. Are you going to eat the food? Not now, Dan. Shush. I'm sorry. I should have told you sooner, I really should. I don't know. Maybe you should. Maybe now's the right time. The universe knows, it sends signs all the time. <laughs> signs, right. It does. To help us. To help us cope. People see what they want to see, they make it mean something. Well, yeah, but that's okay, I think. It's all part of the message, you just have to be open to it, allow it to help you. Fine. Okay, Dan. Here's today's little sign. Today's little message from the universe. Really? I was driving along, right, with my revenge food way too fast because I was angry. And all of a sudden, there was this massive rabbit in the middle of the road. A rabbit? A rabbit? Yes, a massive rabbit. And it's just sat there, literally caught in the headlights, you know, like the same thing. And it's just sitting there, staring. And I have to slam my brakes on because it's not moving, it's literally just sat there. And the car comes to a stop a couple of feet away from it, right? And still, it just sits. And I look at my hands, all clenched and white on the steering wheel, like fists. And I let go. And I stretch my fingers out. And I breathe out. And all the tension and anger leaves my body. And as it goes, the rabbit goes, just hops off, and I feel calm again, I really do. And it's like the rabbit was my anger or something. And now that I've let it go, the rabbit's gone, and I can move on. Wow, that is profound. A rabbit in the road is a metaphor for anger. The rage rabbit? It was the hare. Hare rabbit, it's the same thing. No, it isn't. The point is, Dan, it was a sign from the universe. Can you really not say that? You were driving along a country lane. You were about to come across some wildlife somewhere down the way, weren't you? It was the hare. The hare we saw. It was Dad. 
Are you crying, Rose? Yes, I'm crying. I'm fucking crying, all right? Can't you just go along with all this? Does everything have to make sense? Can't we just have a beautiful story for once? A bit of bloody magic? It was just a rabbit in the middle of the road. Though. It was a hare. It was a fucking hare. That makes all the difference. Oh my God, Dan, shut up. Oh, shut up and sit down, Dan. It's not the time for this. It's Jeff's birthday. It's a hard day. Shouldn't you concede that? Can the girls have their signs, their bits of sudden magic? What harm can it actually do? We all need something to believe in, even you. I do believe in things, I do. Just not magic or signs or paleo diets. I'm not paleo. I know that, Daisy, I do. I don't know what you are, but none of us do know what we are, do we? It, it doesn't matter though, does it, in the grand scheme of things? I mean, why do we have to define ourselves? Why can't we just be? This is our one life. The only one we get, it really is. And we don't need science or your arse movement, Daisy, to tell us that, do we? We're on this planet alive and that's a privilege. Life's short. Just ask Jeff. Now, can we please just eat the food? Eat the revenge food and have a toast or something, please? Nothing left to drink for the toast. We've drunk everything. That's ooze all. It's disgusting, though. It doesn't seem entirely appropriate in the circumstances. I don't think it really matters, does it? I suppose not. No, I had this terrible of stuff before. What's in it? Fish eggs. Really? Oh, God, I thought it was something sweet. Is this an octopus in this job? Bits of an octopus. Wow. Poor thing. Wish I hadn't got it now. I should have stuck with the veggie stuff. Should we do that toast now? Mum? I'm all out of fancy speeches. You don't need a fancy speech. You really don't. Let's just keep it simple. Jeff. Sorry you didn't make it. You were a great husband. Dad. Man. You really were. I'm sorry I wasn't perfect, but, well, who is really? You weren't, but that's okay. It's okay not to be perfect, I think. And it doesn't really matter at the end of the day, as they say. And they do say that, don't they? A lot. And it's the end of your day now. Your birthday. And we're all here for you. And for the most part, I was. I was proud to be Jeff's wife, so that's good. And I'm proud to be Rose and Daisy's mum too. I'm proud, basically, of all of us. So, To Jeff, is what I'm trying to say. It's all that needs to be said. To Jeff. To, Jeff. to my dad.
And mine. And yours. Always. To Jeff. Dad. Oh, God. <coughs> oh, oh, that's oh, that's my Oh, it's fine. Oh, I have a drop more if there isn't oh, more. Oh, 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 Thank you.